Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus with me, Penta Hybrid. We are back on a 10 run. Hold on. 1, 2, 8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A 10 run win streak. I gotta, I gotta remember because now that the win streak is kind of broken there, it's getting me a little, a little confused. But yeah, we have gone Isaac through Eden. Completely lostless. This is the Wheel of Death. This is the rotation, and we are on the Lost, baby. It's time. It is time. Completely fine. Locked down? Not fine. Verp. <laughs> Exciting. I'm gonna drop that right over here in this corner. Okay, okay, you could, okay, you can give me the fire mind. Seed is B6, G6, E2, 3V. I gave you the seed a little prematurely there. I'm sure you guys are curious why I gave it to you that soon. You, you're playing as a lost, you're gonna die. You don't want to give us a seed this early. You might be right. Lost with fire mind. Doesn't, it doesn't exactly spell a death sentence. It just means we have to be extra careful. More careful than we normally would be. And we have to, inc as with every lost run, we need to not be judged by our first item room. We need to be judged by our first devil deal. Because you gotta remember, lost. Those deals are, those deals are free. Those deals are free. You know what else is free? Well, I was gonna say America, but most countries in the world are free. A lot of them, anyway, are free. Enjoy that freedom. Go, go get a sip of your favorite beverage. You can do it without anybody telling you what to do. That's exactly what this lost run is. It's a widow fight. Widow. Oh God. I was just about to say widow, not too difficult, but I, I cornered myself in the. Well, in the side of the room there. It wasn't exactly the corner, but functionally. Jump on that fire there, buddy. There you go. I'm going to immediately leave the room and come back in just so we don't get hit by anything that can randomly happen in this game. I know it's not going to happen. Emperor card! That's quite tempting. It actually is very tempting to use right away because I don't have a key. Try, uh, with fire mind, I have to be very patient. I have to not shoot immediately going into a room. Uh, I've been playing as the other first ten characters in the rotation, so you'll have to forgive me if my patience needs to be worked on a little bit as we start playing as the Lost. There's our key and a bomb, which is great. Why is the bomb great? Because it's a great bomb. Got Big Chub. Is Big Chub good? Not particularly. There's a good old uh, tinted rock. Give us a small rock. You know what? I'll take a key and a bomb any day. It's better than two spirit hearts I can't use. And we'll Emperor card immediately. We'll fight Little Horn. Part of me really, 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 really wants to keep that red fire alive, but every single part of me is like, just get rid of it, man. I'm gonna keep it there, though. As long as he doesn't... Well, I was just about to say, as long as he doesn't teleport around like a dumbass. He killed himself, thankfully. We got part one of Spun and Duality. Okay, so this is this is going to be an interesting run. I, I can't justify missing the rest of the floor, even though every part of me is like, Do it, man! Small Rock is incredibly useful if we manage to grab it. Curse Room is incredibly useful if we manage to grab it. I mean, there is one, which, you know, Curse of the Maze makes me a uh, little uneasy as far as, like, looking for special rooms. Am I confident in this run right now? I am. I am. I, 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 people see me pick up Fire Mine as the lost on a, you know, a 10-run win streak. And they're like, oh my god, he's doomed himself. And I'm like, yeah, maybe. Maybe. That's a fair assessment. That's a, that's a possibility that I might have doomed myself. But... 
You have to give me the fair chance. You have to give me the fair shake of the lamb's leg. I don't know what that means. It's a phrase that I heard once from an, uh, an Irish person, and I have no idea what it means. Could be used in, in the wrong, complete wrong context here. That's perfectly fine. Give me my small rock, you assholes. And early damage is pretty much enough to set me apart from the rest of the run, because Fire Mind, while exciting, while, you know, explosive, is not oh there it is there's that left hand play that's that's the boy we need right now ace of spades ace of spades i don't think we're gonna muscle around for a cursor i think we are just going to politely escort ourselves to the exit Let's grab two quick keys here I'd rather turn consumables I can't use into this stuff than consumables I can use into this stuff. Burn. 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 Do not let the boom flies hit you, because that's a spiral that I don't want to go down right now. Just the portal. Can we... There you go. Oh, big chubby, you actually confused me there for a second. Well, you, because you're so slow, I thought you were just a regular old, uh, regular old worm dude. I was about to freak out and walk into a bad guy because of your ass. I'm just saying, you better be useful on this run, boy. You don't want to know what happens to items that aren't useful on this run. You know, sound, sounded a little, uh... A little hyper offensive there, I would admit. But that's fine. I meant to be that way, Big Chubby. If you're not useful, what use are you? Because if you're going to make a redundant statement, you might as well make it an attractive redundant statement. Smart bomb place. There we go. Get that fire mind in there. Our range is also very good, so rooms like this don't frighten me. Range with Fire Mind is a useful thing. People sometimes forget that it having a high range with Fire Mind allows you to not get hit as easily. It lets you play from farther away. I'm hoping some of our Fire Mind shots bomb these freaking Marshams, but it does not appear that that's the. Ooh. I changed my mind. It does appear that it might be the case. Do it. Blow up the Marsham. What does he call them more shops? Doesn't he know what they're pronounced as? Yes, I do. It's just a... It's a thing I've been doing for like 10 years. You can't convince me to do it another way. You're obviously new here, Mr. Uh, imaginary person I just made up. Concentration levels are real. I do apologize for the bits of brief pauses in the commentary just because it's not a one run. I'm not I don't have a, la a loss of confidence because I, I like to consider myself a very good loss player, but you have to give me Polyphemus. You have to give me Polyphemus. Okay. Okay. The, the, <laughs> you see Polyphemus and you're immediately like, oh well it's fucking set in stone. He's, he's got it. He's got the golden gun, man. This isn't the golden gun, it's just Polyphemus. Does it make Fire Mind better? Yes, it does. How? Because it controls how many tiers I can fire at once. Isn't that normally a bad thing? Normally. This isn't a normal run. This is a fucking lost run, baby. And we're taking this pill. It's a something's wrong pill, but obviously something wasn't wrong. Oh, I gotta boop these things so hard. I gotta boop them in their nose, man. We call that a boople snoot. It's a luck downgrade. That's exciting. That's a relax. That could have actually killed us, but I can fly. Sometimes you just gotta stay still. Sometimes you just gotta stay still, buds. Stay calm and concentrate. Ooh, a chariot card is a panic button. World card, probably better. Cherry card, short term, though.
Give me that 33% chance, you bitch. Oh, toothpicks, though. That's exciting. Gives, a gives us a little bit more control over our tier rate, which I know I said, well, it's probably a good thing because it controls our tier rate. It's not like I don't want to have a high tier stat. It's just it, the tiers down isn't as detrimental as it normally would be with Polyphemus because I have Fire Mind. Ace to spades! Oh, and are you a wizard? So we're going to sit here for a minute. Full guard is nice. How you guys doing? You guys having a good day? I hope you're having a good day. Big Chubby, you're a real man. I'm a real boy! Any day now. And you must believe I could have held that for a lot longer, game. Don't you test me. Oh, mother of God. Oh, two-thirds spot. I should have left the room first. Just because when you get booped, has the loss, you lose your holy mantle, you gotta get out of that room as soon as possible to refresh it. That is a magician card? That's a tower card. Not exciting. Could be exciting. The tower. Okay, so now we only need one bomb. That's fine. We only need one bomb to get into there. A black market or a freaking uh Crawl space with anything. Pyromaniac, for Christ's sakes, could be the run winner. Tears up is great. I'm gonna leave the room first because I don't remember if I got hit. I don't recall. I can't bomb you, so we'll just immediately leave. I do have money, so if I find the shop, which I don't, I don't have any idea where it could be. Up here? That was a lust fight. Curse of the Lost is the best curse. It's the cursiest curse of all the curses. It keeps me lost because that's in its name. Holy shit. Isn't that strange? He's got the chariot card moving west. Wait a second. That's not west. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's always a really good time when you make yourself laugh. What is this? It's a blank room. Give me... Oh, man, Yero would have been gorgeous. It would have been gorgeous. I will take a bomb, and I will bid you adieu. I went in here, right? That was Polyphemus, of course. Why didn't I go in the shop? Probably because I didn't have a key or the money at the time. That's right, because I picked up a nickel. I didn't have the money at the time. So now we take the chariot card. We make our way back to Demon Judgment. Dude, we got plays, boys. We got plays. We can get third syringe here. We can get third syringe right here. Black room. That's fine. Gotta go back. There might be... There wasn't another chariot card, was there? There wasn't another cherry card, I don't think. However... Here's up here is fine. Luck down, not quite fine. Has the small chance. It wasn't. Has a small chance. It's like a 5% chance. So it's totally worth it. Ah, uh, Fuck a duck, lick a chick, screw a kangaroo. Isn't life so fancy when we're living in a petting zoo? Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do now? Cause that's a fool, this is a world. Black Rune is better. Let's see if there was another thing in the shop. Was there anything in the shop? I don't have the money. Oh, we might have to say goodbye to this floor. That, that demon judgment could have given us a spun. However, I think we just we just leave. I think that's the smart choice here. I think we just fight. We already fought the boss. We just leave. That's right, we got toothpicks. We do have duality, so I'm excited for this floor to give us our angel devil because that's a that's a hefty choice we gotta make there. Angel or devil? Uh smart players say devil. I say devil. Due to the fact that we are the lost, I would love to get a teleport card or something for that. If there is any means of me doing so, I would be 
I would be ecstatic. The amount of keys is unnecessary, I would admit. Uh, a single, or, you know, maybe more than a single bomb would be fantastic. Oh, it's... Oh, no! Why? Oh, my God. I hesitated because I was like, all right, well, I got a blank run this, or black rune this. And then I walked into it out of habit. I was like, alright, in my internal monologue, I was like, alright, it's super bad. It's still not bad, you can black ruin this. And then just my brain, my muscle memory was like, hell, walk into it. Ooh, super bandage. I popped out of my own existence for a second. Jesus, that was dumb. Is that a misplay that's gonna ruin the rest of the run? No. Is it one that pisses me off, royally? Of course it is. You don't wanna walk into that. That's a horrible misplay. That's a very bad misplay when you're holding this card. And by card, I mean rune. But they're technically a card. Screw this rune. This rune can suck a dick. This guy looks like a stony, so he's gotta go quick. Fuck all these tears and fuck your whole life. I really want you to die. I really hate Cloud Strife. What does this have to do with Final Fantasy? I don't know at all. Open this chest and get a fucking guppy's hairball. Don't even know if it's possible, but I'm not thinking straight. These guys got two heads. Ain't that fucking great? Okay. It was a very fun song. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's top, you know, radio hit in uh, Wisconsin right now. Pick up the penny. You gotta take the penny, man. You gotta take the penny. Take it like a man. Take it like a man. Get rid of these. I did not form the thoughts in my head correctly, and I was like, ah, oh, well, this is, you get rid of the spawners. No, you get rid of the freaking spawners. And by spawners, I mean they were both spawners. It's gotta be. It's not. Fire mine. Don't walk into him. Boop it. Dash it. Dash it. Dash it, boop it, pick it up. <gasps> Rotten baby, and the chauvle. Oh yes, I'll take the shovel. So delicious. Little baggy is not at all a thing I'm enjoying. The bomb is, and Mama Mega is exciting, but not... Mama Mega gives us a free floor. We'll hold on to it for now, just in case. It gives us a free floor and, like, secret room access for an entire floor. You guys really want me to, don't you? Okay. For starters. Gotta check this first. It was, hey, it's not bad. As long as it's not counterfeit penny. It wasn't counterfeit penny. I'm gonna fight the boss first. Our flies are gonna be insanely powerful. Like, I really... Give me something. Doesn't matter what it is. Just give me a thing. That's actually fine. Give me another thing. That's perfectly fine. I can bomb you now. I'm gonna stay here. That was worth it. Who we got? We got the Gerds. Gerds is dangerous because I got poly fucking famous fire mine. And we've been hit. So now we're really gonna have to be careful with the baiting. Which is like an old school tactic. No double deal, walk out of the room. Come back in, black rune it. We got luck and shot speed, which actually is not terrible. I don't have anything that's like based off of luck yet, but <sighs> yeah. I mean, oh fuck me, twice in the rumple stiltskin. What's a rumple stiltskin? I don't know. It's a dude. He stole the baby once. Is that exciting? Not really. Alright, now we got Mama's hands. I can't actually see their shadow because of the large glow of my current item set. Ooh, a pure art should not have done that. 
<laughs> and by that, by that, I mean you should not have done that. It was a terrible decision for you to give me that. It was horrible. You should know better, game. Burn them. Burn them to lie. Big chubby in there as much as possible, which is just innuendo that I can't control. I, I there's no controlling that. A single guppy item. I'm not even expecting the nine lives. Like I would love it to appear somewhere, but like a single guppy item, Pandora's box, something other than bombs and spirit hearts. I'll go to this room first. So used to doing this room from the top or from the left. I, I rarely do this room from the bottom, so I had, to, I had to quickly decipher which way I was supposed to turn there. Worked out for the better. I ended up making it quite quite fine. Now I've got my Hollow Knight controls all set in my mind. How do I use my active item? Right trigger, left trigger. I don't want to accidentally use it, so I'm just going to wait for a floor where I'll end up using it. This might, be a, this might be a floor where I use it, because this room is quite tantalizing, but black hearts are not something I'm interested in, so that's my convincing factor for not using it right now. Plus, I have three bombs. I'm going to try and boop this real quick. Boop it. All right. Why am I using the word boop so much? It's a cute word. Come on, buddy. Come on! Fucked. Ah, the donation machine. Does it get tortured? It gets tortured a little bit. A flat penny. Not worth it because I have the money right now. I have the keys right now. I have even more keys now. Gotta get the item. Gotta. Ooh. I can actually bum rush that room. I, I can afford to get hit once. That room scares me on everybody else but this, this character. One of the benefits of playing as a loss is rooms like that don't have to scare you. Assuming you're not an idiot and walk into everything that exists. Which I'm not going to limit myself to being unable to do or restrict myself from doing because I can be an idiot sometimes. Just hoping that's not the case. This room sucks. This room actually is my worst nightmare as the lost. Get him. Get him and leave immediately. Come back in, pill is tears upgrade again. Why did I do this room? Because I'm so just masochistic. I'm like, let's do a harder room. Let's do a room we don't even have to touch. Why? Because the viewers want it, baby. The viewers want it. They want to see me struggle. It's an XL floor, so we got two item rooms coming. As well as two bosses. It's an XL floor. Mama Mega, what am I doing? Should I have used it later? Probably. Oh, these guys. They're spawnable madness. Get out of here. Tech X. Here we go, baby. Here we go. I'm not saying we won. Shot speed is way too high for this item right now. That's, that's the truth of it. The shot speed is way too high for Tech X. We need that shot speed to get way down. So I'm kind of not regretting, but I'm kind of a little upset about the uh, Black Rune play earlier. It helped us with Firemind. Doesn't quite help us with Tech X. The D100 is just not something I can play around with right now. Not on a streak. On any other Lost Run, I could play with it a little bit. There's a crawl space, it's exciting. I'm gonna go in it as soon as possible. Grab the key first, there might be something interesting down here. It is a black market, baby. Ooh, it's tasty. Nine volt, yes. The best item to get is the lost, yes. Please, and an Empress card, which is also exciting. You might as well give it to me. It's also inviting. <laughs> Jesse and James blasting off again. I'm so so sorry for that. And we get nine lives. Eye of a Lyle. Now it's a one run. 
Now it's a one run, guys. Now we can start calling it a one run. Oh, will he survive to this point? The guy's a madman. How is he so good at this character? I've played as the Lost a thousand times. Not Maybe not a thousand times, but I've played as the Lost a lot, guys. I've played as him so much. Many would just call me an insane lunatic. Dude, you're playing as him so much, man. He's not even fun. Like He is probably one of the most fun characters in the game to me. I've gone on this tangent before. I don't want Ivy Bag. I, would, I appreciate the thought. It's a generous thought. I appreciate it very much, but I'm going to politely decline and say, <laughs> No! Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to plop this here. This here. Come in here. And we're going to fight the old, uh, the old adversary. Didn't really take that long. We take old bandage, oh yeah. OP item. Isaac. We got hit. We did get hit. We've been in here, but I did it. Oh, Mama Mega opened Boss Rush. I was like, why was Boss Rush open? I got Scottish there for a second. Why was Boss Rush open? Sean Connery. Not gonna do the Sean Connery voice for a Let's Play. Hit it! Baby got moves. Baby's got grooves. Pop down this is here. Gonna come in here and become Guppy! Well, we didn't become Guppy, but we don't want Demon Baby. I was thinking about it. I'm like, do we want Demon Baby? I don't remember if Demon Baby con contributes to Conjoin, but... Oh, but Guppy's so good. Okay, so Fuse Cutter... Get me... get think. Follow my train of thought here. Fuse Cutters is top-tier Lost Trinket. Converts all troll bombs spawned in the game into non-live bombs. Regardless of whether or not you need the consumables right now, which we actually do, regardless of that, just from a base standpoint of, like, unavoidable damage from a troll bomb spawning randomly... It's just, it's an instant take, and I, I can't not take it. It would be irresponsible of me to keep left hand right here, even though the Guppy Dream is insane. And let's be real, the Guppy Dream's not, like, insane. The Guppy Dream exists because we have nine lives, but it's not, like, sticking out of it and, you know, shooting us in the face. There's a lot of sacks there. Empress is worth a lot more than, you know, a couple of cents from Ace of Diamonds. Could not, for the life of me, hit him. Giant boy needs to die. Now it's just getting ourselves back in the mindset that we do not have live bombs spawning anymore. It's an easy way to take stupid damage. That's another tears up, I believe. Doesn't actually do anything with us. I should have. I should have guessed. I do want the Empress card though. Still don't have small rock. That's a thing we're looking forward to. That was a wonderful tech X play there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this has got to be the way then. This has got to be the way, right? Everything else seems like it's a dead end damn well. Here we go. There's the boost fight. There's the boost fight and a 67% chance of that deal with the Daredevil. We got a Tinted Rock hanging out anywhere? We don't, it appears. It's got a Conquest. Conquest is not exciting. Tinted rock in the boss room doesn't appear to be so. Yeah, we already got that derp. Uh, leave. Yeah.
<laughs> Loss is all about confidence. As long as you can keep yourself in a level-headed spot, he is just an incredibly fun character to play as that I see getting a lot of shit because of how he used to be so difficult, but now he's like not even that hard anymore. And I've gone on the tangent, you know, and gotten in a couple of debates with people about how I firmly believe that Judas is a harder character than modern Lost. The Holy Mantle gives you the ability to be hit for free once every single room. Judas, without an HP upgrade, can get hit twice per room before dying, and once by a champion before dying. I, I would personally be take the free hit every room without any negative effects over being able to be hit like twice across an entire run without HP upgrades. It's just a, a better trade-off for me. Small rock. Mm, some booms. I'm happy about the bombs. That is the... Uh, no, because that's not a shot speed down. I'm thinking Lazy Worm. That's not Lazy Worm. Lazy Worm would be great, though. If Lazy Worm wants to show up right now, I'd, I'd consider dropping the fuse cutters for it, but I probably wouldn't, knowing my discipline. I'm not disciplined enough to leave the fuse cutters behind. The fuse cutters are just too good right now. I take a lot of stupid damage against troll bombs and super troll bombs that appear. Live bombs have a habit of doing a little bit more damage to me than I'm willing to admit because ever since Afterbirth, the timings on them are like not random, but they have a chance of being less or more than they normally are. That could have been Guppy, it wasn't though. And so I take a little bit more damage. So getting the ability to not have to worry about live bombs for the rest of your run is kind of exciting compared to a possible Guppy Dream, which is still just that, a possible Guppy Dream. Here's I am getting a, oh my gosh. Here's I'm getting a Skype message. I'm gonna go to the Devil Deal because things are just too exciting in there. Incubus is, this black powder's okay. I mean, Incubus is fine with Tech X because I'm not Lilith. <laughs> because Tech X doesn't actually work with Lilith for some reason, but with a natural Incubus, it does. Which is why I was kind of skeptical at first. I was like, maybe it's. Yeah. I had to remember that it works. I don't think they actually fixed that either. I think it's it still breaks Lilith. Cursed Skull is exciting, but it doesn't work, sadly, with the Holy Mantle. You have to actually take damage. Which I don't plan on doing. I don't even plan on using any of our nine lives. I just plan on winning, straight up. I do get asked quite a bit how to develop skills as the Lost, and it, I always hate being that snarky Wisconsin asshole that's like, dude, we'll just this. But I, I do have to just, with with that kind of question, I have to basically just say, dude, you, you just gotta play as him. You can't avoid the character. You, have, you get better by playing as him. You get better by spending dozens and dozens of runs in a row with him. Like, I didn't just develop the ability to Lost Streak, you know, 20 plus runs. It took a lot of time and effort. I was losing, you know, 12, 15 runs in a row trying to get a skill and a habit down with him. And it developed, and now I am more confident playing as the Lost than I am with some of the other characters. Perthro's nice, but doesn't do much for me here. Empress is still a better card for me. This is anything other than... Oh, you know, actually, this is nice. This is quite nice. I'll pop the Golden Poop. It's not counter for penny, reroll everything, and I didn't get any chests out of it. A little disappointed, but I'll be okay with it. 
kind of hoping for some chests out of that play, but there was a, a, res a, a spatial restriction there. I don't know how that exactly uh, functions with everything. Ace of Hearts is not useful. I don't have a, a tier stat low enough to uh, spam shot yet. The soy milk decides to show up. My word. Soy milk on the chest? It's like, it'll go from one run to like, I'm having a lot of fun run. Pick up all the pennies for no reason. Should have put down a portal, but I don't see Isaac being a problem. We did get Incubus a little late in the, la uh, late in the link, so that's a little bit of an issue, but shouldn't be too much of a problem here. Tech X has a decent enough hitbox. Gotta hit it right in the corner there. So that can be the kill. That is the kill. And we will move on to the chest. Okay, I can take a drink. So what do we actually want from the chest? I would love Eve's Mascara or Dead Onion. None of those are what I asked for. And I'm going to avoid taking Ghost Baby because I believe Ghost Baby contributes to Conjoined and I don't... Actually, I have Tech X, so Conjoined wouldn't be a bad thing. I'll take Ghost Baby just because I don't remember if Demon Baby contributes or not. If he does, this could be amazing. I think he does. It's not Conjoined. That's fine. Because Conjoined... This is one of the odd situations where Conjoined is a good thing, because I have Tech X, which works very well with Conjoined. Because it spreads across, like, the entire room. Let me go left. It's a peep fight. It's a peep show. <laughs> he did the thing with the peep joke. I don't even know what hit me there, but I'm okay with it. Do I even need to be in this room? I don't need to be in this room. Hit me. Actually, you know what? I'll just fucking kill him. I'll just fucking kill him. I'll be a real man. Don't even know what killed me that first time. I lost track of their bullets. It's a thing that can happen. So we did lose our first life. That's a little disappointing, but what are you gonna do? Oh, it's my favorite. It's my favorite room in the chest. The narrow monster room. I love that room. It's just, just a fantastic room. Well designed. I, I, I'm excited every time I see it. I get to see all four of my favorite monster buddies. A couple of bringing axe here. No, it's a, not a big deal. I'm gonna continue trekking downwards. Because it seems to be the right direction. Justice is fine. Doesn't do much for us, but that's why I say it's fine. It's not a negative, not a positive, it's just fine. Gonna annihilate Wrath in the corner of the room, pick up a soul heart because we can, and go up and right. The fight's on dirty juniors. Got a chest? Ugh. So Demon Baby doesn't contribute. I know Rotten Baby, and I'm pretty sure Ghost Baby does. Hold on. And I already gave you the seed, so you don't need it anymore. Hold on. Platinum God dot Transformations uh, Conjoined a Demon Baby does not Neither does Ghost Baby Okay, so I was wrong entirely That's fine You know what, that's fine I don't need the Conjoined This I do need I require this desperately Is it better? Yes, in every way, shape, and form Because I'm not expecting to see a whole lot of live bombs on this floor I am, however, excited about the incredible damage upgrade. We are going to be melting enemies. I constantly say that Dim Bulb is one of my new favorite trinkets. I've been asked if I'm going to do a top 10 trinkets list from the new trinkets in Afterbirth or top 10 best and worst ones. And, like, it's going to be a hard list to write because... More so than items, trinkets play very heavily in favoritism. It has, like, less to do with if the item is, like, traditionally good than items do, because the trinkets are, like, based off of play style. 
items are based off of playstyle, but like, no matter what, Brimstone is probably going to be an upgrade. Regardless of if you have a, a you know, if you your playstyle is different than another person. However, like, duct tape can be good depending on your playstyle. Many think it's garbage trinket, but to Ment, but to some others, it has great synergies, it's fun to use, it can be exciting in some situations. Trinkets are very difficult to write. So there is a possibility of me doing it. Farting Baby, Headless Baby. Well, Farting Baby doesn't contribute to Conjoin, but Headless Baby does. So we are we are two-thirds. we pop our Empress. We are going to annihilate the Blue Baby. Get that Black Powder in there. And, uh... Let Rotten Baby get the final hit. And voila, there's a 36 minute even run, and 36 is my favorite number, so it's very timely for me. That's our lost run on the rotation. We are going to be moving into Lilith next, so Lilith I'm not too worried about. I just don't like the character. When people say, oh, you're just bad as her. No, I'm actually really good with Lilith. I just don't like the character because I hate having to use Incubus as, like, the major point of offensive. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, and of course, comment down below letting me know your thoughts and feelings. And as always, subscribe to the channel to show your support what I do. Uh, and my name is Pentire, and I will catch you in the next episode with Lilith. Catch you later.